Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at a little asset in the Unity Asset Store called Free Snowman. So I'm hoping that this one will stay free for quite some time, considering it does say free in the, <laughs> the title of it. So yeah, ultimately, I, I kind of like snowy themes and winter themes in video games, so I felt this was kind of... It would be quite nice to review. Comes with a, a demo scene, and one thing to note is on the images it does say the skybox is not included in the package, which, okay, fair enough. It does say snowman, it doesn't say anything about a skybox in that title, does it? So I think that's fair to assume that we wouldn't get the skybox anyway. So in the scene view, when we get it, it kind of doesn't quite look like the pictures at all. But don't worry about that, you've got to kind of come away from the whole idea of things looking exactly like what they do in the images. The images are meant to portray what you could do, providing you had the correct uh, assets, the post-processing, the effects, all that kind of thing. So we do get exactly what it says. In fact, we get three of them. We get three snowmen on a little uh, terrain, no less, with snow on it. Uh, so it does come with a post-processing profile itself, but I haven't applied it. I've applied my own post-processing profile uh, for now. But overall quality is actually rather nice. I, I do think it is constructed very well. The textures are very detailed. They are genuinely snowmen and they look rather nice. Yep, the lighting is a little bit off in the scene, but if we go onto the game view, we can see it kind of looks like, you know, sun setting, sun rising. So it gives that impression. Now you can change how things look as well. So we can adjust the quality of it just by changing the lights. If we were to turn the two directional lights off that it provides and add our own uh, directional light, there we go. We can see how much that changes. And obviously we can play around with the uh, rotation. And there we go. We get some cool looking snowmen. So like I said, the post process profile really makes a difference because depending on what you want to do with it, you could change all kinds of different things. So yeah, that's not too bad. So yes, the quality overall I think is quite nice in this and it is represented very well. Uh, quantity wise, yep, we get three snowmen, which it does say snowman, but we get three snowmen, which okay, yeah, fair enough. Do we consider the other two extras? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, we get more than what you would think you would because it only portrays one snowman, so we get a little bit more. Quantity-wise, it's good. Versatility, yep, you can customise this as you can with pretty much any asset. If you really, really wanted to, you could take the material on the snowman and make it whatever colour you wanted it to be. Yellow snow. Yeah. Well, I guess you could do that if you wanted to. Either way... I don't think you're really going to do much in a way of changing the colour of a snowman because the snowman is, well, it's white, isn't it? So I think it's quite nice. But I think the detail of this is really what excels the package. I think it's really quite nice, the detail on it. Price obviously is free, considering it says it's free snowman. Size is just under 42 megabytes, which isn't really a lot considering. But just keep it in mind if you have a lot of assets in your package, and you just want to be mindful of your growing size of the project file. Um, yeah, we have the pre-made scene. I always love those pre-made scenes. Usefulness. Obviously, its usefulness is restricted to something that will contain snow. You don't want to stick a snowman in the middle of a desert or something silly like that, because that's not going to fit in. So if you're making a snow scene, something nice and snowy, then yeah, these are going to be pretty good. Folders neatly laid out, very nice. We've got all the source stuff here, textures, meshes, material, everything you're going to need. Prefab set right there. And let me add in that, a nice snow particle system. So I guess that could be counted as an extra. I think that's a nice little touch to add in as well. Let's see what it looks like when we press play. Yeah, I think that's a nice little touch as well. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And this, yeah, I'd recommend it. Of course I'd recommend it. If you're making something that has a winter theme or snow or something, I think these will be a nice addition to a game. Even if they're not prominent in the game, I do think they'd be a nice background addition somewhere for your snowy level. So guys, have you used these in your game? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. And if you've got an asset on the Unity Asset Store, please let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out. Don't forget, click subscribe and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I've got about video game development on my channel. 
And guys, thank you very much for watching.